Big moment, big moments over here. Splat! <laughs> Throw me on the surface of the sun. Hello, it is Friday. Welcome to another weekend vlog. It feels like it's been at least three months since the last vlog. I know it's been weeks, but like so much has happened in my life. We've been all over the place. We've done so much. I'll update you guys later. Right now I'm warming up a Lucy bottle. I'm about to get her up from her nap. I think she's waking up now. And we have got to go meet up with Lolly. If you don't know, Lolly is my mom's chosen grandparent name. Like my parents are now Lolly and Pop. Like that's mom and dad no more, it's Lolly and Pop. It really took me by surprise that they chose such adorable grandparent names. Like there, there are so many options now that I don't think existed when I was little. I had a grandma and grandpa and then I had a grandma Heya. It was a grandma that lived in Mejia. So like we were a little bit creative, but like we had nothing as cute as Lolly and Pop. I absolutely love it. And Lolly wants to get together this afternoon to go shopping. So we're gonna do that. But of course we've got a few things I need to do before we get on the road. Gotta feed Lucy, change Lucy, pack Lucy up, all of those things. And I don't wanna forget, shout out today's sponsor. A portion of this vlog is sponsored by Osea. More about that later. one hand <laughs> just fling it out there all right let's go girl oh my goodness she's so happy did you get a good one she's so happy to see lolly <laughs> this is what we little suits like this that looks so comfy that's like perfect <laughs> for us it's also so cute i'm loving all the fruit themed clothing and then the summer shells, so cute. One, two, three. You like a bumpy ride, huh? Up. Okay, obviously Lucy does not need a purse, but this is very hard to resist. Do you need a bag? You need one really bad. <laughs> I think she might need it. Ooh. Those are cute. Our garage is crazy, but we just got home and Grant's already home, so let's see what Lucy thinks. You ready to see Daddy? Oh, <gasps> there's Daddy! Hi, Lucy. That's a full body wiggle. Ow. Yeah! Come see Daddy. You're not seeing her. these legs. Oh my gosh. She's kicking, kicking. Oh, give me a hug. The excitement oh, is unmatched. You. Say so we went to the mall, dude. Did you have fun shopping, shopping? Okay, lightning fast Lucy haul because I'm ready to cook dinner and I'm so hungry. This cute little romper, I love the color, is from Zara. This one's from Dillard's. I love the strawberries. This one's also from Dillard's. I think it's gonna be precious on her. And then this last one is also from Zara. <laughs> Lots of characters, very different than the other ones, but we do probably have a Disney trip coming up later this year. So obviously we had to have it. All right, they're outside swinging and having some fun. So I'm gonna start cooking. Whoa. All right, tonight we're doing a leftovers mishmash. I've got a casserole that I made this week with like chicken and cauliflower, bacon and cheese. And then Grant has a little bit of that too. And then some chicken thighs I also made the other night. Looks good. Actually, this looks horrible on the plate, but it was actually a really, really good recipe. What are you doing, Luna? Uh, oh, there she is! One, two, three. There she is! One, two, I feel like her hair grows every night. It's so long. What's up, girl? So here and there, I do a little special treat and I add a shot of espresso into my smoothie. It kind of melts everything, but it's so good. Yeah. Wow. 
All right, so I've just been over here trying to pull it together a little bit. We're gonna have a fun day, a good Saturday, and I just wanna get ready and get out. I was kind of thinking I wanted to do like a get ready with me, but I don't want it to take up too much of the vlog. And I don't even know if people watch get ready with me's anymore. Would you guys watch that? Let me know in the comments. If you wanna watch it, I'll totally share because obviously I haven't done one in a million years. Um, and I can show you all the makeup I've been loving, but there are a couple of things I definitely do wanna share. First of all, I haven't done my lips yet. Let me show you how I've been doing my lips. I found this tip on TikTok and it's using a lip stain. So I can't remember her name. That makes me feel so bad. But she used a lip stain to kind of like slightly overline her lips and you don't get the same kind of heaviness that you get with a traditional lip liner. And I got the Palladio lip stain in the color Nude. I tried Mocha as well did not work. Do not substitute mocha. Nude is the way to go. And basically, sorry, I have to look in the mirror. You just line with it. It's nothing crazy or like truly groundbreaking, but I've never done it before. And I feel like it looks really, really good. And obviously it lasts really well. So I just line like that. Easy peasy. I don't even really overline with it. And then I go over with my regular everyday ride or die lip balm that's like very slightly tinted and I'm good. And I feel like it lasts so long and I have one in my purse. I have one over here, like I'm all in on this. I love that tip in case you did not see it. You think that you'd have like a ring around your mouth and that would not be great, but you don't. It totally works seamlessly and I completely see. It's just, it looks more natural than regular lip liner. Okay, actually I'm looking at myself now and I realized I forgot to do my little inner corner highlight another thing I've been into doing that I kind of forgot about for the longest time and I have been using this as like one of my all-purpose palettes lately I like dug it out of a forgotten drawer ye old do they even sell this anymore I don't even know okay so last thing before I head out I'm so excited because this portion of the vlog is sponsored by Osea they're a skincare brand and this is my favorite last step before I go especially in the summer this is the Osea Andaria Algae Body Oil, and it is heavenly. I absolutely love the glow it gives my skin. I use it everywhere. It's just deeply hydrating. It's also firming. I feel like it really like brings out the tone, especially on my legs. The glow is just so gorgeous and not greasy at all. It doesn't have that sticky feeling. It sinks in and just feels so wonderfully hydrating. And beyond that, the scent is amazing. It's super subtle, so it's not something that would bother you, but I love the scent. It's like being at a spa. I actually have started using it on my hands like every time i wash my hands at home and it's helped my nails so much i have like really dry hands sometimes and i love what it's done for my hands as well as like every part of my body i just love it so much and the brand overall if you've never heard about them before they're clean cruelty free female founded and family run which i think is really cool i read a little bit about their backstory and it's just a really cool story if you guys want to check them out browse around do some shopping there'll be a link in the description down below and you can use my code leann 10 to get 10 percent off <laughs> Yeah, I know. What do you want to sing? Jingle bells? Fresh bib? Is it bothering? Okay, all done. All right, we are definitely like kind of out of slant right now. I don't. Maybe I'll be able to fix this, but maybe I won't. Sorry about it. But obviously we're in the car right now. We're on the way to the zoo. We're gonna go try to check out the Galapagos exhibit. It's relatively new. I've heard good things about it from my friend that has two little boys. And so we wanna go check it out. We try to go to the zoo like semi-frequently, like maybe like once a month because we got a membership from my mother-in-law for Christmas last year. We're trying to make use of that get out there see the animals it's just like a fun thing that we can do in the morning as a family on the weekends we try to go as early as we can so it's not too hot and it's definitely like getting hot in houston crazy hot um, but right now 
obviously not at the zoo. We're in a parking garage right now because Grant's on call this weekend and he had to run in real quick. So we're just waiting for him out in the car right now. Um, I think it's just gonna be like really quick run in, run out kind of thing. So we'll be on our way really soon. But something came in the mail yesterday that I'm actually really excited about. I have very high hopes for this. And I figured today would be like the perfect time to try it out for the first time at the zoo. So. As you guys know, I'm super sensitive to the sun because of my lupus and I've just honestly had such a bad time with my lupus since being pregnant. It definitely like threw my whole body for a loop, but I saw this on TikTok. I think it was just like last week and I immediately ordered it. It is such a smart invention. <laughs> it's very dorky, prepare yourself, but I don't even care anymore. I don't even care anymore. It's a visor that connects to your sunglasses so it's not like around your head you could have any hairstyle you want and let's see let's see if it works so basically and this is obviously not sponsored or anything okay so i'm adding the magnets on it comes with two different like kind of like rubber slip on magnet pieces and that's how the visor connects to your sunglasses so there's like magnets right here <gasps> I feel like I can't see myself to see how crazy this looks. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to try it out, but I feel like my forehead is a little bit too much of a five head for this. This is so genius. I'm like determined to make it work, you know? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. I don't think it was the glasses that were messing me up. I think it was where I put the magnets. I'm mad I didn't come up with this idea because it's so good. It's so smart. And these are some strong magnets. What do you guys think? Is this like level 10 embarrassing yourself or what? Because I don't care. <laughs> okay, let's get Grant's reaction. He's walking up. <laughs> what do you think <laughs> about this craziness? It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. It's casual. It's, 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 it's natural. <gasps> it's natural. <laughs> you just whip it right on. Ready for anything. <laughs> Throw me on the surface yeah, you, of the you, sun. You just gotta make sure your hair stays over the little oh. tabs. My hair's in the tabs. You wanna try it? Sure. Ooh. Oh, it's kinda heavy. I know, it's heavy on your nose. You kinda need a, like a little strap. There actually is a strap but that's the <laughs> whole thing. Actually, I feel like this visor would be so much better if it just wrapped all the way around. We're going for it. We're dipping it. We're doing it. We're going to the zoo. Yeah, tell him hi. I finished this coffee so fast I didn't even get to enjoy it. <laughs> I needed it so bad. Okay, so obviously back from the zoo, Grant is working on his computer, Lucy's sleeping, and I need to be ordering groceries. 
but we had such a good time at the zoo. I love the exhibit and today is a really big day because I feel like this is the first time Lucy got excited about the animals. We've been to the zoo a lot. Like we've taken her to the Fort Worth Zoo multiple times. She's been to the Houston Zoo multiple times. Like she's seen a lot of animals. She's been to the rodeo. She's been to petting zoos. Like we've done a lot of animal stuff and she might reach out to them, but like, I feel like today was like the first time that she's like gotten excited about seeing an animal and it was the penguins because they were so active and they were coming right up to her, right up to the glass and she was talking to them and she was reaching out and it was just so awesome to see. Like I wanted to just like stand there forever because she was enjoying it so much and it was just really, really awesome. And I feel like I'm gonna remember that forever. And I'm glad we like kept going to the zoo no matter what, because I don't know, I just feel like, I feel like a lot is happening with her right now. Um, let me tell you, Grant was changing her in the morning the other day and I actually wasn't in the room. He came out and he goes, she said daddy clear as day. And she has really been practicing with like da da d d d type, type sounds for a while. But it, I mean, even if it was just like accident, coincidence, whatever, like I'm so proud of her. I'm so excited for her. And it's just huge. It's huge. Most people won't understand this, but it's just when you have even just like a glimmer of communication, it's like, indescribable so proud of her so amazing anyway i need to get started i need to order my groceries i've been really trying to make it part of like my friday routine so i don't have to do it during the weekend but for whatever reason i always forget we always have like oddball appointments on fridays and it slips my mind so gotta get my groceries ordered not to talk about this cookbook again but i'm gonna talk about it again because i'm still using it still loving it it's really <laughs> made cooking so much easier for me but at the same time i feel like i'm cooking more than i literally ever have in my life like i have always like cook dinner but i'm cooking way more variety way more different kinds of recipes than i've ever done before like for instance this is one of the recipes that i did this week it's buffalo chicken stuffed avocados not hard at all totally easy but would i have ever picked this recipe like off pinterest for a weeknight no but it was so easy and it was so good i'm so glad i did it so i've got to figure out what week of recipes i want to do for this week order some groceries and i think we might need to go to costco too like there are several things that we need <sighs> costco <laughs> i'm sure grant will be very excited to go to costco hello was that the shortest nap ever <laughs> okay lucy is now joining me after the shortest nap Ever. Okay, real quick while we're here, check out this outfit. So cute, so rainbow. And actually, I have a correction. I think I said that Lucy hasn't gotten excited about animals. That's not totally true. Lucy is highly interested in Luna, but I mean like outside of the house, those penguins were it. All right, you sit with me. Let's figure this out. Okay, we're just about to head out, but I wanted to try this on super fast because it just came. It's a squirt and y'all know I cannot resist a squirt. I just feel they're like the world's most perfect apparel item. It's like the best of all worlds. And this really looks like a squirt, but it's more of just like straight up shorts. It's shorts in the back. It's got a little bow, a little frilly detail. It's super, super lightweight. And I'm pretty sure it was really inexpensive. I'll link it down below if you wanna check it out. It comes in different colors. I am impressed. All right, we gotta go. All right, real quick, we gotta go to Academy for a Father's Day present. Are you getting presents for Pop? Okay, this is kind of an emergency. Someone will please hold me back from buying both of these sets. There's Mickey. And then even better, Hello Kitty. I really think I need these. What do you think? Are you gonna get them? I have to. Well, they get Disney. I know they have Disney. I want both. You want both? Okay. Hello Kitty it is. <laughs> Lucy is the most patient baby on the planet. We got all the good stuff. 
I've never tried these before, but they sound so good. I'm also so hungry. What do you do after you buy a bunch of groceries? Go out to eat. What do you want to see? <laughs> The fake sound. Good work. These are sheep. Here's my grocery order that just came in and Grant just got home from work. He went in super, super early this morning and it's time for me to get ready for church. Elevator down, here we go. Okay, I think this is what we're gonna go with for Lucy today, one of her new dresses Lolly got her. So cute. Let's take these boots off, girl. Okay, we're just about to run out the door, but here's a little fam OOTD. I've had this set for a million years, so I'm sure I can't find it online. Lucy's dress is new. She's ready to tell us all about it. Grant's looking spiffy as usual. He laughed at me so hard for saying he looked spiffy yesterday. Spiffy. Spiffed out. And Lucy is especially. Yeah. Is he so cutie booty? Let's go. All right, we're back from church and Lucy is so tired. She woke up incredibly early this morning. I think she was overtired from yesterday from the short nap and you know, it's a cycle once that starts. I am about to get lunch ready and then do like ingredient prep for the week. First, I'm gonna do some potatoes that I saw on Instagram recently, super easy, uh, like Parmesan, Basically just Parmesan potatoes. Just sounds really good. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Whoa! We'll see if it works. Okay, quick break in the cooking process to appreciate how cute these are. They just came out of the dishwasher. potatoes that did not turn out. Don't try those the way I did them. <laughs> Okay, so I'm finally out of stopping place with my ingredient prep. 
and this is never what it looks like. I'm kind of stuck in between steps right now because the beef isn't done yet. And while using this cookbook in the flow of the prep day, this has never happened before. It's so weird that I'm having to like stop halfway. So this isn't all the ingredient prep, but it's a lot of it. We've got like one layer for a casserole. These caramelized onions go with this. Also this red wine reduction. And then we have a chipotle cream sauce. And then these are stuffed peppers. Honestly, just doing these steps has taken me forever because I had to stop halfway in and go to the grocery store and find polenta and it took me so long and I actually ended up with grits. I've had grits and I've had polenta, but I've never made either. And oh, let me show you what the actual recipes are. I should have known it was going to take me a long time because in the intro, it's like, you're actually going to get most of your steps for the week out of the way. I should have known, but I did not. The recipes sound good though. Okay, we have rustic polenta and beef casserole barbacoa stuffed poblanos i couldn't get poblanos so i did bell peppers and then the last one is beef ragu so i'm sure they'll all be really good and totally worth the effort but it was a lot today <laughs> and it really usually isn't oh you look so tiny on the screen <laughs> lucy did you know you're tiny Okay, I've got Lucy here with me. She took another short nap. I don't know what happened. This is not usually how it goes, but here we are. And we're gonna do a little arts and crafts moment. We're gonna do some handprint art. And this is for the SCXPP1 Foundation. They're gathering together a bunch of handprint art from SCXPP1 people. And it's gonna be at the conference this year. And then after the conference, I believe they send it home with the researchers that come to the conference. And actually when we visited a lab here in Houston, Houston and met some researchers we saw their handprint art in their office and it was like a really cool moment to just like see like they've got like a little piece of some of the kids and patients right there with them while they're working on this stuff and there's been exciting news and stuff but basically right now we just got to get this done we're gonna make a handprint my vision my inspiration <laughs> I had two different ideas but what I think could be the easiest one is this one. At first I thought it was a chicken, but I think it might be a duck. I don't know, but we're gonna try it. Let's see if we can make this happen. I did some handprint art for Father's Day last year for Grant's first official Father's Day with Lucy. It took us so many tries. It took me a million tries, but we made it happen. It's really cute. Here, maybe you hold the paper down, Grant gonna help us out. Oh, does that feel good on your hand? I feel that paint on my fingers. Cold. One, two, three. Splat! Splat the fingers out! Splat the fingers out! Whoop! There's Lucy's hand! Bless you, Dad. All right, should we do the other hand real quick? With orange? Oh, no, well, cause that you put the beak on in orange. Put the beak? You can so have we'll your just, beak on it. We'll just do a little. Good job, Lucy. Okay, let's smack it. We're gonna go a one and a two and a three and a go! One, two, three, up! Good job, baby! Yeah. Oh, we got both of those little hands on there. <laughs> Are you wiped out, honey? Okay, it still needs its little beak and eyes and legs and extra details, but looks good to me. Okay, let's take your bib off. You're all done. All the hard work is over. One, two, three, go! I've got my PJs on. I'm about to wash my face. It is 8.35 right now and I'm so tired. I don't know if this is a new thing or it's been gradual or I don't even know. I get so tired so early and I really try to like limit caffeine through the day because I don't know there's just several factors going on where I don't want to like 
overdo it. And I usually have like two caffeine drinks a day or like pre-workout and a coffee or two coffees or something like that. And uh, it's just not cutting it. I'm so tired right now and I wanna like have one more hour in me. Could I just get one more hour? I don't know, does this sound similar to anyone else? Just like it kind of comes out of nowhere and you start getting tired like ob obscenely early. Yes, I understand I get up early, but not that early. I feel like getting tired at 8.30 is like if you wake up at like four and I definitely don't do that. Anyway, I wanted to sit down and talk with you guys a little bit before we end the vlog because I feel like I started this vlog saying like, so much has happened, we've been so busy, everything's going on, but no time to talk about it now. And here we are at the end of the vlog and I haven't told you about any of that stuff. So just a brief update about what's going on with us and we have been so busy, it's been absolutely nonstop like it always is, like even just this coming week, I was looking at the calendar trying to figure out a time that we could go to the playground with friends and it's just one of those weeks we literally have appointments multiple appointments every single day of the week and so we have to like figure out a little window where we can have some fun there's just a lot going on this week but that really is us all the time so since the last vlog two really big things First of all, we did our first at-home EEG. It was a 48-hour EEG. It actually started the day after I was filming the last vlog. That was a while ago now. Um, so they like came, set her up, and we had cameras on her and had to record and monitor everything. And she was on camera for 48 hours. I saw some of the instances that I was concerned about, recorded them, pressed the button, you know, all the things you have to do when you do an EEG. And we did have to wait three weeks for this news, but she didn't have any seizures during her EEG. It's just so nice to know they're not seizures. And then the next big thing that's happened since the last vlog is her DMI intensive. We did a two week intensive and a lot of people ask me on Instagram because I shared videos and photos and stuff along the way. Um, an intensive is basically where you do therapy every day or multiple times a day in a period of time. We've done a two week intensive, we've done three week intensives, like it depends on your therapist and what it is and the kid and everything. Um, we've done a feeding intensive, DMI intensive, we've done regular physical therapy intensive. This was a DMI intensive and it was so amazing and I really saw her build her stability and strength. And when we came back to her normal therapist after two weeks, they really could notice a difference. And it's just so awesome. I just see a lot of different things kind of sparking in her and it's just so cool. Like earlier today, um, it was in the middle of all like the cooking craziness. And when I had to go to the grocery store and I came back, I walked up and Lucy was sitting on the mat with her toys and Grant was on the phone in the kitchen, like in the same room, but like across the room. And I walked over towards Lucy and she shot her hands up towards me, up like this. And that's the first time she's ever done that. And it just blows my mind, like literally makes me wanna cry because I know that is like, a small thing for most people and it's not something that you wait till almost two to get to see and to get to feel and it was just so amazing like coming home and she reaches out to me it's like i can't describe to you what that feels like if i don't some of you guys will understand how i feel um but it's just so awesome to see her trying different things and getting the strength to do things. Big moment, big moments over here, seeing the penguins, reaching out. It's just, it's been a really good weekend. A very tiring weekend, but a very, very good weekend. Oh, and the other thing that happened just the other day on Thursday, we went to see her physical medicine doctor and we kind of took like step one on working on getting her a wheelchair. The question has always been like, do we want to do like a medical stroller? Do we want to do a wheelchair? Um, and through our conversation, I think we're kind of zoning in on a wheelchair, but we have to go and look and our PT offered to come with us to the equipment people. So it's going to be a very long process, like very, very long, I'm sure. It's kind of like a big moment. It feels like a big moment just to like take a step in that direction, you know? Anyway, I feel like I'm making this vlog so much longer than it needs to be, but I just wanted to catch up a little bit because I feel like a lot has been happening, but like 
a lot is always happening. I'm sure everyone feels that way. All right, it's time for me to wash my face and go eat some cupcakes while we watch TV before bed. I appreciate you guys being here so much. Thank you for subscribing. Consider subscribing if you haven't. I'll definitely be back with another video soon. I'm sorry they've been so spread out. I want to do more videos, but at the same time, I'm just like constantly trying to balance like all we have to do, all we have going on every day. I just don't want to spread myself too thin and get stressed out and overwhelmed. It's just a lot sometimes, I'm sure you can imagine, um, but I love getting to sit down and catch up with you guys. So thank you for being here, subscribe, all of that business. And another big thank you to Osea for sponsoring this vlog. Definitely check out the link, the coupon code, all of that. I'll see you next time. Thanks, I love you, bye.